Whoopi shuts down Megan McCain on The View. I was not absent. Hi, welcome to JOA. If you're new to my channel, please click subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload. Watch this clip and I'll come back with some more. That's happening right now, Megan. Now, what do you think about it? Oh, I mean, I want to say that like any woman who wants to partake in it is like 100% has my support, do whatever you want. I um, am always extremely mm -hmm. skeptical of collectivism in general. Um, I actually started my career blogging online and I'm always skeptical of, here, put a photo up, put a dark space in your Instagram and we've solved all the problems of the world. Um, if you remember the controversy with Coney 2012, which was a viral uh, incident where they were trying to bring awareness to an African uh, uh, human rights violator, I guess, and it ended up being hugely mm -hmm. controversial, and the man that started it had a nervous breakdown on the street and basically didn't accomplish anything he wanted to, and it got like a billion views in a week. And I just think when you're talking about women's empowerment, as a conservative woman, there's always a level of skepticism because we are never invited into circles traditionally. And the Women's March, we were literally not invited to join and told to stay home if you're pro-life. Um, it ended up being the leaders of the Women's March had a strong ties to Farrakhan and a lot of anti-Semitic and in my opinion, extremely problematic and controversial views not that I both wasn't women. comfortable. What, one of the, I just want to say one of the women had strong ties, not both of them, but go ahead. Well, you can watch the tape of me interviewing them on the show and make your own decision for yeah, it. Yeah, I was there. Uh -huh. You were not I there. was there. No, you weren't. I was there. I no, was there. Weren't. Yes, I was. I sat right there. I will get it for you so you can see what I'm talking well, about. We had really both women on, but that's well, not the point. point. Though I had a no, problem with the women's I'm march. Saying. Other people don't. This is why mm -hmm. this topic is ridiculous. Right. Because again, conservative women just we don't have voices in places like this, and it's fine. Right. Okay. Well, here's my take for conservative women. If you want to join and put your picture up as well, there's nothing <sighs> stopping anybody. This is for all women. And if you, it's not your thing, then it's not your thing. So Whoopi Goldberg was actually there. And really, in reality, the person who caught my attention with this clip is uh, by a Twitter user um, who works with the who works with the Daily Beast, who Megan McCain actually used to be a blogger for. His name is Justin Barragona. And basically what they're talking about is when they had the Women's March uh, last year, um, in 2019, over um, 1.2 million people just about went to the march. And the three main people behind the march uh, were Tamika Mallory, Linda Sarsour, and uh, Miss Carmen Jordan. And in reality, after they did their view appearance, which was Whoopi was talking about, um, saying she was there, uh, Megan McCain went in on the uh, black woman, Tamika Mallory, and asked her, how can you support a movement that's for, you know, that's anti-Semitic? How can you be uh, for Louis Farrakhan and describe him as the GOAT? And you guys really have to watch that interview um, to to see what I'm talking about. I'm going to link it in the description below. And Megan McCain just really went in. And after that interview, the three girls basically stepped down um, because it, it started to get uh, controversial. Now, Whippy Goldberg was actually there. And the reason why Megan McCain doesn't remember is because Megan McCain took up the whole time slot for that segment questioning those three girls um, after Sonny Holston uh, did her take on it. And after that interview literally last year, and I don't know how I missed this, Tamika Mallory basically went on The Breakfast Club and she <laughs> she threw shade at Megan McCain. She was like, I don't know how Megan McCain is is able to have a platform like this. Her questioning me basically is doing a disservice for the other hosts who actually had uh, viable questions to ask me. And I was like, well, damn. So, and I thought she handled herself really well and very classy, very articulate in the interview. And you guys really have to watch it. And another person besides uh, who don't really believe in a woman's march because, you know, it's it's basically not for conservative women. You know, they're not for, well, I mean, they're for abortion. And uh, clearly conservative women aren't for that. And one person who's also pretty much a, uh, Megan McCain twin is Tommy Laren and she says I find it condescending insulting and a little demeaning 
to think that women only care about abortion and birth control and paid maternity leave, I think does a disservice to a lot of conservative women that care about immigration and national security and common core and the other things that are facing our nation and facing our families. <laughs> I feel like I was saying it in her voice. But so, I mean, I'm not entirely sure if uh, their, rhetoric or, their rhetoric was for them not to... Uh, be at the women march because I can't really say but according to reports there's a lot of articles that states that conservative women are not uh, allowed you know at this march which in my opinion I do disagree because I noticed that there's a woman who is a Palestinian descent who has a hijabi on Linda Sarsour and She's clearly a Muslim, considering that she has the Muslim attire on, and in reality, it's against her mu mu Muslim religion to have an abortion. So, Meghan McCain, girl, I, so I certainly do believe that the rhetoric that was accused against these three women uh, was false, uh, just because I'm seeing with my own eyes that Palestinian activists, Palestinian American activists, just like how I am, is invited to this... Um, Women's March and I myself I'm against abortion as well. But anyways, let me know what you think in the comments below Please do subscribe and click the bell button so you'll be the first to know when I upload deuces. Yeah